Hey everybody, this is KJ4BNF. Uh, I know it's been a while since I put up a video, but I decided to uh, make one real quick. Um, I've actually had two uh, projects since the last video. Um, I installed uh, ICOM 208H uh, in my truck, which is the same rig I have um, in the shack here. Um, and I also put up a CB base antenna. Uh, and I know as soon as those words CB came out of my mouth, I'm sure uh, a lot of you hams were like, what in the world are you doing with a CB radio? Um, under no circumstances will I get on the CB radio and rag chew or anything like that. I've got, I use it for two reasons. Um, several of my friends have CBs uh, in their vehicle. So I do use it to talk to them occasionally. Um, and the other reason uh, for weather uh, alerts and uh, the weather radio in that. Um, so that's the only two things I use that for. Um, I don't use it for anything else uh, so I guess I can get by with that. If I need to rag you or anything I'll definitely get on the CB and not even touch I mean get on the ham and not even touch the CB, sorry. Um, but I did want to get up an antenna for that uh, so I could put one in the shack uh, so I could talk uh, to some of my friends uh, while I'm in the shack. Uh, and it's a pretty tall antenna, and it works pretty good. And if I'm lucky, it might actually work on 10 meters. And I know the 10 meter uh, in my area has opened up a lot uh, within the last few days, and um, there's been a lot of 10 meter uh, propagation here lately. So um, I might be able to use it for 10 meter. I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably going to require some tuning uh, and whatnot, but we'll see what we can do. Um, so we're going to check out that antenna outside. And uh, then I might do another video, or it might be on the same one. I haven't made up my mind yet, but we're going to go into the truck, and I'm going to show you the uh, setup in my vehicle. Um, so we're going to go check out the uh, homebrew CB antenna. Uh, this is my first attempt at a homebrew antenna, and I'm extremely pleased. I mean, this has low, low, low SWR, um, and I just decided to give it a shot. It was a really cool project. Uh, it was fun to work on. Um, and I'm glad I did that. So now I've got a little bit more confidence in uh, homebrew antenna making, and I might try to make another one. Uh, it works real good, and, and you can get it for a fraction of the cost. I used a uh, fire stick that I actually took off my truck. Uh, it's a fiberglass whip. Um, put it up on a 20-foot pole and uh, brought four copper radials down. Um, so it's, I mean, it's pretty simple simple setup and it's not completely homebrew because I did use an antenna. I guess all I did was add radials um, but it, it still I guess can be classified as homebrew under my book um, but it's pretty cool. So we're going to show you that. I'm going to show you the radio and uh, then we'll go check out the truck and I'll show you what I've done in the truck. So let's go outside. We're out back looking at the 11 meter uh, CB antenna. This is the mast here. Um, it goes up about 20 feet and um, this is the fiberglass whip at the top. You can see there I've attached four copper radials. Um, and they come like down like so. Um, I've attached nylon um, string to the end of the radial here. And it comes down and wraps around the tree. And then the other two ends wrap around the fence here oh. and the other end is actually in the neighbor's yard so I had to kind of rig up an arm here um, to support that other radial so you can see it kind of comes down well there it is so it's supported right here and then that goes up to a PVC arm um, and then you can barely see the radio coming up so it's basically like a triangle right there um, coming down so that works very very well um, haven't got a chance to talk to my friends yet on it because like I said I just put this up um, but I suspect um, that I will be getting a lot of good distance on this um, even though the CB is only 4 watt um, I think it'll do pretty good and I've been getting a lot of propagation um, so I think that has to do with the 10 meter opening up um, so I think it's a pretty good good little setup here you uh, further out look here 
We're going to turn on the radio. We're going to do a little transmit here and just watch the SWR. So you see that's very low. Uh, and that's on channel 40. To cut it back to 1, I think we get an SWR of around 2. So it's higher. But all in all, uh, it's still good enough to transmit. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. And um, hopefully we'll get a new video of the, the new shack, the new HF shack, uh, up this week. Um, I'm expecting my HF rig to come in tomorrow um, and the following day uh, will be the rest of the stuff that goes with it. It came in two shipments from uh, HRO from, from two different locations so I'm going to get that set up. Probably tomorrow I'll uh, have a video while I unbox the ICOM IC7000 and just kind of show you the rig um, and then once I get everything set up hopefully I'll uh, make another video and show you guys the uh, new shack. So um, that's kind of what we've done so far. Now we're going to go on out and uh, check out the uh, mobile installation in the truck. Okay, so we're outside uh, looking at my mobile setup. It's a 2005 F-150 pickup. Um, up here I've got my little antenna. You can barely see it. Uh, it's a Comet. Uh, 2 meter 440. Uh, and it's just very small mounted on my headache rack here um, and uh, it does it does a pretty good job I can hit all the repeaters uh, around here and then over here of course I got the CV whip um, but I like the little comet antenna um, it's very inconspicuous you don't really see it uh, and it looks good so uh, it's very effective I'm pretty happy with that Okay, so we're inside the truck, and um, I've separated the faceplate of the radio and uh, installed it on my dash here. Uh, it's a super clean installation. Uh, it looks great. It almost looks factory. Of course, I got the mic right here uh, hung. So I'm going to zoom out and show you um, how good that looks. Uh, it looks very factory. Um, what I did was I took the cigarette lighter out uh, and ran the cord through the old cigarette lighter hole. Um, I've already I've got a 12 volt accessory plug up here so I don't need the cigarette lighter in the front. Um, so I, I ran the wires through there and it looks real good. I'm, uh, I'm very happy with it. So, ICOM IC208H the same rig that's in my uh, shack. So pretty cool. And I'm sure you, you're wondering what this little red button is. Uh, that's my air horn. I've got a lot of stuff installed on this truck. Um, I'm always out here doing something. So I've got several mics hanging around here. I've got that and then the uh, CB mic and then over here I've got a PA mic. So got lots of gadgets to distract me from the road but this is the main thing I wanted to show you. So uh, that's the faceplate and I'm going to show you uh, where I've mounted the rig. Okay, the rig is actually mounted under my back seat here. You can see it down here. Um, it's it's kind of hard to hear when you're going down the road. I uh, definitely have to cut the radio off, um, the music radio that is, um, to be able to hear this. Uh, even with the volume all the way loud, uh, that seat over the top of it kind of muffles it a little bit. But uh, you can still hear everything pretty well. Um, I'd rather sacrifice some of my volume to have a cleaner, more professional looking installation. And so that's what I've done. Um, back here you see the blue wire. I got, I do a lot of home wiring, so I have plenty of uh, Cat5 wire here, so I just extended my uh, microphone cable uh, all the way up to the front. Um, so that's, that's the installation. I took the wires back. Um, and they go under this little molding here, all the way to up under the dash here, and go under, and then up to the rig so that's the new mobile setup and hope you've enjoyed the video and um, I hope to get my HF rig and everything up and running and have a new video soon this has been KJ4BNF thanks for watching